Have you ever considered chess to be an extreme sport? No? Well, then you probably don't know about aerial chess. This sport takes chess to the extreme. Of course, what makes it extreme is the skydiving. The things you can do up in the air are mind-blowing. And there doesn't seem to be an age limit. The oldest skydiver is 103 years old. Extreme sports are often about speed. Downhill skateboarding can reach speeds of 146.73 kilometers per hour, while speed skiers often exceed 200 kilometers per hour. Extreme sports can be performed just about anywhere, also underwater. Free diving or apnea doesn't involve scuba equipment. Divers stay underwater on one single breath of air. Some free divers can hold their breath for more than nine minutes and reach depths of more than 200 meters. While participation in traditional team sports is declining, adventure and extreme sports have become more and more popular. Why? What motivates people to take these risks and push themselves to their limits? Are they irresponsible, reckless or crazy? Although that's what many people think, it turns out that risk-taking is not the focus. For most, it's not about the thrill and rush of adrenaline. Many say they feel closer to nature and more self-aware. And it's not like they just go out and do it without considering the risks. There's a lot of hard work, training and discipline involved. This includes mental training too. Most extreme athletes don't consider their extreme sports risky because they do everything they can to minimize the risks and any negative outcome. Nevertheless, we should never underplay the level of risk. After all, we all are mortal. Do you understand why so many people love extreme sports? What type of sports do you enjoy?